It was a day to remember as members gathered from all walks of life to receive their chief shepherd, the Bishop of Makadi Diocese, Most Reverend Dr. Wilfred Anagbe, as he dedicated a church for the worshipping community there. Our correspondent, Sebo Terumbo, was there and filed in this report. On arrival, Bishop Anagbe called the tape to mark the commencement of the dedication ritual for the new church building as he received the plan of the church building and the keys from the chairman of the church council with which he opened and laid the faithful inside for the first time. Among the dignitaries who attended the mass were the traditional rulers, heads of various societies and esteemed members of the public. In his home, the bishop said we can find God in a church not because it is a church but because of the attitude the people have there. The church, the bishop said, is a Christian community gathered together to hear the word of God, offer intercessions, and celebrate the mystery of the Holy Eucharist, and see the people at the temple of God. The people must allow God to be seen in and through them. Bishop concludes that the church having been dedicated is a holy place to receive answers, and even if it runs into it, he should be saved. The ritual of dedication include prayers, anointing of the altar with all the ornaments of worship, anointing of the church building, incining of the church, and lighting the church, which all have their spiritual significance. Hermit of the event was also the confirmment of the sacrament of confirmation on 276 Katkumen. St. Mary's Parish, which started as an outstation of Secret Heart Parish, O'Day became a full-fledged parish in 1986, and its very first parish priest, very Reverend Father Clement Akumemoto, was also present for the dedication of the new church and had this to say. I was here to open this parish in 1986, when I finished my studies in the United States of America. What I did here to make sure that we bring out many of these people was that I did a lot of free marriages to people. And then because they became Christians, in that case, the church became very full. And then I created, a, I started a nursery primary school here because there was no nursery primary school this side in North Bank. It was only in... Uh, Nativity Nursery Primary School there. So I decided to create Nursery Primary School here. There isn't much in magic in bringing people together. You be a simple priest for them. I didn't try to be more than whatever people think because I knew I have my PhD degree. I taught in US before I came back home. So I wanted to be the same with the people, not to tell them that I'm higher than them. They love me and love them. And that's how the parish have been growing. I'm very happy that the parish have grown today. And that's what we didn't feed. And I'm, I'm grateful that the, the priests are happy with them. And the many that have baptized uh, them when they were infant during the mass marriage. Many of them are priests now. So I'm very happy about that. Today is a very remarkable day in our lives. Because this edifice you are seeing here started... Exactly 2009, with late Monsignor Stephen Beban, who came in, who reported to this parish in October 2008. And that 2009, on the 2nd of August 2029, late Bishop Atanishi Asusu came and laid the foundation of this church. And we went ahead, a committee was set up, building committee was set up with Justice APB Saha as chairman, my humble self as secretary. And we commenced work immediately. And by 2014, when Monsigno was late, we had roofed the church, we had put the doors, we had put the windows. What was left was the finishing, because we had put the floor too. And after his demise, when Father Iges came, the present parish priest, very when Father Titus Iges, who is also the dean of Agandinari, took over the mantle of this parish. He devoted his time to make sure that this edifice has come to complete. To completion and today to the glory of God by dedicating it the bishop is coming to dedicate this edifice for the use of the parishioners and the worshiping community of St. Mary's Parish. 
it's a day that is important and remarkable in the history of the Catholic Diocese and St. Mary's Parish in particular. That is why we're here. You can look at the project yourself. It needs appreciation. Yes. And this is done. And the work is completed now by our parish priest, very reverend father, Titus Igesi, who has made a lot of sacrifices to ensure that the church is dedicated today. Indeed, he has been working day and night, as you can see around. I am Yuado Fili, Catholic Television of Nigeria, Makudi Center.